Albert Einstein called this the eighth wonder of the world. Warren Buffett said it was the key to growing his wealth. I'm John Gregg, your certified financial planner with APSAdvisor.com. And today we're gonna to talk about how long it takes for your money to double with an investment through the rule of 72. So the rule of 72, you simply take 72 you divide it by your rate of return, and that's gonna tell you how many years it takes for your investment to double. So for an example, if you get a 1% rate of return, maybe you're at a savings account at a bank, 72 divided by 1%, 72 years. 72 divided by 6% rate of return gives you 12 years. 72 divided by 10% rate of return, 7.2 years. So let's take a look at the difference between earning 1% versus earning 10%. Now 1% is, you won't even earn that at a bank. So say your money's sitting in a savings account, you're not even gonna be earning 1%, but let's just use that as, a, as an example. 10% is a pretty aggressive stock portfolio with good returns, but we're gonna use that as an example just because they're easy round numbers. Clark Kent had saved $10,000 for his 20th birthday. He wanted to start investing, and so he decided between a bank or XYZ growth stock. At the bank, he's earning 1%. At the investing in the stock, he's earning about 10%. So if we take those numbers, divide them by 72, 72 divided by one gives you 72 years. 72 divided by 10 gives you 7.2 years. After that first 7.2 years, you can see it's nearly doubled with the stock, whereas at the bank account, it's only a little over $10,000. So as we continue to go down every 7.2 years, the difference gets bigger and bigger and bigger. But let's see what happens after 72 years, right? So after 72 years, the money has doubled in his bank account. It's taken that long. Now, what happens with the stock portfolio? over nine million dollars the power of compound interest through the rule of 72 is so powerful as you can see through these examples i hope that was helpful i hope you learned something and until next time